Yes, students. Today we will be studying about Macaulay's quality factor. So, whenever a software development is considered, its quality is a highly important element which has to be studied. A product cannot be delivered with a inferior quality. Communication, planning, coding, testing. Are the various phases of the software development cycle. While it is essential to ensure the quality of the software starting from the first phase of its development. Why is quality important? Any product will not be purchased until its quality is good. Or if a customer has to be happy, he wants always a good quality product. He wants a cost for his product. So quality remains an important aspect of the software development. Life cycle. Without a proper quality, the sustenance of the product or acceptance by the customer is not possible. Hence, to be sure of the quality of a product, we test the quality across various Macaul quality factors, or these are the attributes which are considered while developing a software product. Here in the diagram, you can see there are uh, there is a triangle divided into three segments: product revision, product operation, product transition. Each of these sub triangles are further having few parameters. Now let us look into the each of them, each of the parameters. The Mac calls quality factor are as follows: correctness. It checks the extent to which a program satisfies its specification and fulfills the customer's mission and objectives. A product has to be tested in order to see how much it is correct. And to what extent it fulfills the customer's objectives. Objective is the purpose why the software is being designed. So, whenever a customer specifies his objective, he always specifies it in terms of the specification of what it is being required. Reliability the extent to which a program can be expected to perform its intended function with required precision. Means if I am designing a server, I expect it to be handled or being accessible 24 by 7 and uh, to provide service to up to say 10 million users. So it is expected to perform its function 24 by 7 and to serve 10 million users. So if only if a server meets these constraints and perform its intended function, it is said to be reliable. Efficiency. The amount of computing resources and code required to perform its function efficiency is in terms of how good a software component performs when it is being working integrity the extent to which access to software or data by unauthorized persons can be controlled integrity is a very important term with software security the data accessed by the users should be modified only by the legitimate ones and not by any unauthorized person. The data should remain intact and suppose there is an ATM system which has been created. That means all the transactions have to be correctly recorded and if there is a failure in any transaction that it, it must be rolled back to the previous transaction. That ensures the integrity of a software. Usability. The effort required to learn, operate, prepare input for and interpret out of a particular program. If a software is usable, it is user friendly, it provides good user interface, then I say the usability is good. A software which is difficult to learn, to use, and which is full of errors is not said to be usable. Maintainability effort required to locate and fix errors in a program. Every system is prone to some other, other error. Maybe after the after sales or after its warranty, if in such cases, it should always be able to fix such kind of errors. No system will remain error, -free, but it should be able to track the errors and maintain it with ease. Flexibility. The effort required to modify an operational program. The ease and flexibility of a software helps the user to use it in a larger scale. Testability. The effort required to test a program to ensure that it performs its intended function. 
a software should be testable. Portability. The effort required to transfer the program from one hardware or software or from one system environment to another. If I have a set of software or application if I have been designing, that application should be easily downloaded and it should be accessible through all my operating systems and through all mobile devices. That means if a segment is working in one mobile properly and it is not could be it could not be transferred in another segment or another mobile, then it is not said to be portable. Reusability. The extent to which a program can be reused in other applications related to packaging and scope of the function that the program performs. If I am making a software, there should be a segment where it is reusable or the program must be designed in such a way that it is forward and backward compatible. Forward compatible means the next versions of the software could be in collaboration with the previous version. If I have designed Windows, suppose Windows 20, and the next one is Windows 22. So Windows 22 should be working well with the previously installed Windows 10 version. That means each program should be reusable. So to give a smaller example, if I have created a login page, the login page must be reusable. Interoperability. The effort required to couple one system with another. That means if I want to transfer a particular image to any of my friend, this irrespective of what mobile she is using, then it is said to be. This is all about MacPaul's quality factor. All the qualities or all the codes are being tested against MacPaul's quality factors in order to ensure that it is giving me good quality results. Thank you.